today's recipe, I'll show you how to read, add, edit, and delete cookies in Selenium WebDriver. Within DevTools, if you navigate to the Applications tab and look at the Cookies section under Storage, you'll see the cookies for your website. In my case, I have two cookies here. Vegetable, which has a value of broccoli, and protein, which has a value of chicken. Let's jump right into it and manage these cookies via Selenium WebDriver. In our first exercise, let's just read a cookie. So we're going to say driver.manage.getCookieNamed, and we can specify the name of a cookie. So we know we already have two by default. Let's just get one of them, the protein one. And this will return a cookie object. And this cookie object is actually part of WebDriver. So we'll assign this to a variable that we'll call cookie. And now we can do an assertion. So we can say assert equals, so let's say our expected value is chicken, and we can get the actual value by saying cookie, that get value. Great, let's run this and see how it goes. Excellent, that one worked. Okay, now we can add a cookie. So inside of here, we'll go ahead and create a new cookie object. We'll call it cookie. And for this one, we're going to call this cookie fruit and its value, let's say apple. Great, now we can say driver.manage and there's a method here called add cookie. So we can specify that and pass in the cookie that we've defined. And this will add this brand new cookie to our website. Just to make sure that the cookie is there, let's do an assert equals and we'll say that the cookie that we define, let's go ahead and get its value by calling get value, and then we'll say driver.manage, and we will ask for a cookie with the same name as the one that we created. So we'll say cookie.getName, and this will give us a cookie object, so we also need to go ahead and get the value of that. So therefore, let's put this on separate lines so that you can see it. We're saying the cookie that we've defined here, we expect its value to be the same as whatever you get from the browser. Okay, let's run this one. Awesome, that one worked as well. Perfect, moving right along. Let's go ahead and edit a cookie. Okay, let's go ahead and create the fruit cookie just in case it doesn't already exist. and. We'll call this one original cookie. And we'll specify its name as fruit and its value as apple. Okay, now let's go ahead and tell WebDriver to go ahead and add that cookie for us. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is create another cookie object in our code. So we'll call this one edited cookie. And this one will have the same name as the original cookie, but we're gonna change the value to, let's say, mango. Great, now there's no direct way to just say edit a cookie. Let me show you. If we say driver.manage, there's add cookie, delete cookie, get cookie. And then you can do get all of the cookies or delete all of the cookies, but there's not an edit. So what you do is you have to call add cookie again, and inside of here we'll specify our edited cookie. Now notice this has the same name, fruit, but it has a different value. So that should override that. And just to make sure that it does, let's go ahead and do an assert equals. And we'll say that we're expecting the edited cookies value to equal the new value. So we'll say driver.manage and we'll say get cookie named. And the cookie name for the original cookie or edited cookie, they're both the same, but I'm just gonna say original cookie dot get name. So I want that cookie and then I want to get its value. So that should be the original cookie's name should have the edited cookie's value. 
Now let's run this one and make sure it works. Excellent, okay. Now let's delete a cookie. So we'll go ahead and create the new cookie object. And we'll say this time it's fruit and the value is mango. I hate mango, so I'm happy to delete this cookie. So we're gonna go ahead and add it just in case it doesn't already exist. So we'll say driver.manage.addCookie and we pass in this cookie. And now we're going to delete the cookie. So it's another manage command, driver.manage, this time delete cookie. And you can say delete the cookie and pass it in, or you can say delete cookie named something, okay? I'll just go ahead and pass in the whole cookie. Excellent. Now let's just verify that it's not there. So I'm going to assert null this time, and I'll say driver.manage dot get a cookie named and let's pass in our cookie name. All right, and that should be no. Okay, let's run this one and test it out. And perfect, that passed as well. Excellent. So let's do a little quick recap. To access a cookie and read it, its value, we can just do driver.manage, get cookie names, you pass in the name, and you'll get a cookie object back. From there, you can do a cookie.get value and verify its value. To add a cookie, again, we can create a new cookie object. We say driver.manage, and this time we call add cookie and pass it in. To edit a cookie, there is no edit cookie method. Instead, you must add the cookie again, but change whatever you want to change about it. So if there's a cookie that already exists with a certain name, you need to pass that name in again and then just change the value and call add cookie. And then finally, to delete a cookie, you can just call delete cookie and specify either the cookie object or you can say delete cookie named and give it just the text value. All right, great job. That's how you manage cookies.